This is like open world fucking fear shit going off, man. Like, it's not open world in full sense of the scope, like, but you know. I know this isn't right, lads, but you know. Stood in the middle of the way, just fucking bandaging and shit like that, just trying to fucking do. Yeah! Hang on, though. Still gotta deal with this bitch up here. Wherever he's gone. Mm, where has he gone? Guess he's not here this time. Oh god, yeah, I nailed him, alright. Oh shit! That get him? Yeah, it did. Nice. Take all. Don't care about the weight at the moment. Take all. Nothing for me, eh? You tight fuck. It's not shit, man. You can't drag. Can I fucking drag the knife to hit both fucking boxes at the same time? It's like, dude, it's not fucking chivalry. That it, it don't work. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh! Shit, I'm in the same fucking room that I did. Right, I'm gonna drop a random save. Save level. There's so many save options. I can smart save, quick save, hard save, and save level. I don't even know what save I'm using half at fucking time. I just do some. Nice. Effective use of a few bullets there. Okay, game. I was wondering, I'm like, if I break that box, will he fall through it or not? And he will have done. Yeah, he would have done. Finding the best condition one don't really matter like. Ah oh, my weight's still fucking hefty. Drop some of the in fact unload the Makarovs, drop them all, drop them all. Unload them all, drop them all. That's a good fucking save to me, is that? Everybody's fucking looted there. Wow, I managed to fucking recover me ammo. Holy shit. Right, here we go, here we go. Hang on, what's this? Illegible. Hey, it's alright. Fucking back in the day, man, textures weren't so fucking great where you had to... You know, like... I like being able to read the random shit, don't get me wrong. What do you mean the door's locked? But there's not even in there. I suggest I push my ass to a wall and hope fucking nobody's got a fucking drill or a fucking hammer or something like that, man, because... Oh my god, it's raining as well. Like, they have been setting up... I wish that light switch worked. But yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking just not drop the soap for a bit here, man, because it's gonna fucking... It's gonna get a bit rapey, isn't it? Like, this alarm has been going for so long. There's a fucking helicopter... What can they even... I mean, I know what an helicopter can do. I was about to ask a really stupid question. I love the fucking moonlight and the rain and shit in this game, man. Like, middle of fucking night... Shit, middle of night with fucking rain going and all fucking moonlight. This is fucking perfect game setting shit, is this, man? No! Fuck. Launching off the edge, man. Right, I'm, cu I'm curious. Take the documents to barkeep. So, back to garbage and up to there. He also- I need to go barkeep for something else as well. The sales representative quests over there. I don't know what that meat chunk shit is, but that's down there. 
I need to go to Barkeep for the reward for protecting the stalkers camp like an hour ago and shit like that as well, so it's a bail, isn't it? Not yet though. What about this stash here? Under the bush by the wall, that looks a nice, a nice fucking easy one. But how do I- wait, 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 how do I get down without fucking- Fucking pull the ladder up behind them, eh? Oh! Oh! Yeah, I'm- I'm fucking- uh, I'm- I'm fucking quick saving anyway. I just do not trust myself down fucking ladders and shit, man. Hey, this is a really good fucking escape route over here, I'm liking this. Oh, uh... Fucking hell. Fucking watchtower guy looking out for this guy? You know what to give for a grenade? Like, primed right then. I think he's on the roof. Damn those grenades are dirty shit. He's randomly fucking pop out of nowhere. It's like, oh, was, was, was the grenade there was there. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. You know, I just realized I'm fucking about just then trying to get myself killed. The bullet casings, you know, like when they're ejecting out, they're 2D. Never noticed that. <laughs> the bullet casings are 2D? I, d I guess they did that to save a little bit of rendering. <laughs> it looks like some Arjun Newcomb now or something like that. <laughs> hey, I like the effect because, you know, we all fucking love a 2D shit, but that's weird. There's nobody here now. There we go. That guy just come back alive, right? Oh, I thought that guy was a corpse. I thought that guy was a straight up corpse. Suddenly there's a guy next to me alive. All right. But yeah, I'm going to get the stash from the other side of this wall, apparently. And then go see that barkeep fella. I think it's the same barkeep from... The anomaly mod that I played a bit. Oh god, I did that before. I can't even see my fucking. I had to entirely rely on the crosshair then. You know, turning red as opposed to ADS, and I, I couldn't fucking see him for shit. I'll take his fucking stuff though. I'll tell you what, I wish I could unload his gun from that menu. Oh, they're, not, they're not always loaded. Not always. Uh, I won't drop him yet. It requires a bit of faith going down ladders. You just gotta, like, run at the fucking ladder and then it'll flip you around, man, but I never feel fucking good about that. Always feels like I'm just gonna run off the fucking head. Something nasty around here, man. Too close to- oh, there we go. Half buried safe under the bush. Right on the other side of that. Near an anomaly as well. So how would one leave this compound? Oh my god. Fuck you and your grenade. Oh god, I'm bleeding out like fuck her. Huh? I love how you have to take a second there just to kind of like look at me and go like, is that the guy? Like... 
I genuinely enjoy fighting these fucking airmen. They are not bad. Oh my god, they're fucking terrible. I kind of meant for a better grenade than that. I forgot you can't cook them. This guy runs out with his fucking automatic like his fucking Rambo, man. Right, okay, okay. Regular medkit. Steady on, steady on. Oh shit, I heard it click. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I heard the nade click. It's the first time- Oh, is it raining now? No, well, like, thunder and shit. Nice, hang on a sec. Right, okay. Really need to get over the compound wall. This fucking ladder, though. Uh, you can fast slide down them and it really fucking hurts. Did that get rid of bleeding? Nah, I keep run. I keep thinking that and it never does. What's bandage is that? What? From the other side? Nice. From the other side of the fucking building. There's gotta be a crack in the wall or summit. Wait, this actually looks familiar. This is where I first came in. Grassy. What do you mean, grassy? You're not chasing me? Nah. Minimap says nah. They ne never got me off the fucking alert, did they? What the fuck is this here? What the fuck is this hole in the wall there? That's what I was looking for for the last 10 minutes. Remember there's an anomaly around here as well. Yep. Where though? You what? Was that an anomaly? Was that my own fucking ball? Was that a grenade? What the fuck was that? I can only assume that was a grenade on the other side of the wall that somebody had thrown at me. The dicks. Right, if I just take it nice and easy, I'll flood it. Nope, I still bleed at the end. Were you? You know that dude just cauterized my wound by shooting me. Yeah, we're in, wasn't it? He's got the fucking grenades. He was trying to throw a grenade at me there, fucking died, dropped it on himself, fucking just made it worse for himself. Just made it worse for yourself. You got no fucking ammo to unload, neither, you suck. Right, there you go, lads. I'll save you fucking dropping down the ladder again. Right, so hopefully this time I can figure out if I'm gonna get anomalized or fucking nade. It's one of these weird ones, is it? Wait, can you do that with grenades as well? Oh my god, you can hold the grenades with the right mouse button and then launch the fuckers' things for a mile. Oh my god. That makes quite a difference. Like, normally you can't cook them and it just goes, yep, fro. And it's a pretty fucking weak throw as well, but... He seems to have a good fucking right mouse button arm. Nah, 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 you didn't get me. Oh shit, ran past it though. A half buried surf. To be fair, I won't be able to find me on dick even if it were fucking half buried. Like, it's so fucking dark. Oh, there it is. Ah. Who stashed some vodka and some fucking wrenched clump of shit? It's like fucking a hundred rubles worth of fucking shit. Oh my god. Damn. Well, he doesn't want you circling around the base so easily. 
It's fucking night ops tonight. Ooh. Ooh, archive boxer. May as well have an investigator that before I leave. It's... Oh my god, so much... I just saw... I, did, I heard something, kind of. What the fuck?! How tough were you?! Well, you're not a fucking normal pup, are you? That wasn't normal at all. Is that one of those, like, what I was talking about before, like the suit? I said, I'm not, not really clocked him properly. Is that a pseudo dog? I don't know, but there's a fucking pair of water dogs up, mate. What? I didn't. I didn't even fucking. I, I literally just got grabbed. Like somebody just fucking stuck their hand right around the fucking side of me eyes or something like that and clawed and I was done. That's the last thing I fucking saw, man. One minute or all right. Best in the zone. Please tell me I saved after looting up. I didn't, did I? No, I did a fuck. To be fair, I didn't expect to get fucking... I don't even know what happened there, man, but they did not piss around. No, 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 you haven't got me fucking hell. They suck you in and you can see. Wow. <laughs> fucking... Reamed. Like fuck. That is one sketchy fucking anomaly. No, you know, you've not got me. Is this where the surface? There he is. I say, it's not actually worth fucking loading. I mean, the Vok is nice. It's got me again. Yo, 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 where's my bandit? There. Bit of food. I should do it. You know what? I'm going to drop the quick serve. I think that's fine. Took a bit of punishment for it as well. Map is saying straight line, but... Last save tells me I ran into a lot of trouble doing that. Yep. And minimap saying there's a couple of fucking dudes down there as well, but they've not seen me. In fact, are they friendly? I don't think they are. Nope. Military. There you are. I like how they use a little purple Triforce for the stashes as well. Very appropriate. Right, where are you? Some golden eye level shit is that fucking radial thing. God, it's so fucking dark. I thought fucking lost like fuck, I don't even know. Right. They alive. Oh, yes, they are. They're just sleeping. So I. D oh my god. Ideally, it would be best to let them continue to do that. Seem to be making a lot of noise. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's on the rise. Summit seam. Yep. Oh my god, they're tough, and I can't even see what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, no, that's it, innit? Oh shit, I almost turned around on the motherfucker. Oh my god, it's blind fights. 2020 fucking two, man, like, that is so difficult to see through. Fucking right. I'll try hug the fence this time. Oh shit. So fucking armored. 
taking like two thirds of a clip to put those fuckers down. They're just walking to a fucking anomaly. No, almost. Oh, almost walked past it. There we go. Oh, oh. Yep. They clip you and snare you so well. You get it and you just, you can't run and you can't really jump or do anything for a little bit and you just fucked. I think I get just enough time to maybe heal it and then get back fucking out again, but... It's taking the better part of a clip to take down one and there's four of them. Ah, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'll tell you something, man. I already came into this game with respect. I... I've had to fucking increase it over the course of today's set. That is... Mean. Basically two-shotted by almost everything. You're not incredibly accurate. Your gun jams. <laughs> it's like, oh! Yeah, yeah, it might be difficult to see properly as well. Oh! <laughs> yep. Watch out for the anomalies. Oh! Oh my god, they're already coming. I was like, let me just pull out my binoculars and have a look to see where they are. I'm gonna have to do some samurai level fucking shit, man. I've run into an anomaly. Gotta be this tree here. Nope. I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to fucking bring them one at a time, but nope. Man! This stash is going to have, like, a fucking energy drink and a Kit Kat in there, isn't it? Like... It, it's it's going to it's gonna be some wank fucking stash, man. Oh, man, I've managed to actually draw the aggro of the fucking dude this time. Oh, yeah, it's somewhere else. Fuck it. Right. So there they all are. Man, I preferred it when they were sleeping. If I'm being honest, man, I preferred it when they were sleeping. I had a chance to sneak around them. The mutants are getting fucking tough. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Man! <laughs> right, I'm gonna get a bit closer and drop a fucking save so I'm not rerunning this bit. In fact, I might kill this fucking pseudo dog over here. I believe if I run the fence, I see him before he sees me. God, it doesn't mean that I didn't die. <laughs> fucking hell. Right, you know, yeah, there. It's part of the fun, though, that it's meant to be fucking brawl. It's, it's part of the fucking atmosphere of the game, like, between how it looks and how it sounds and how it plays out, and then the brutality of the fucking difficulty. Yeah, I knew as soon as I pull out my fucking binoculars, they come running at me. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think some devs realise, you know, when shit like that happens, if some of us fucking feel that shit. We get right fucking immersed into the game, you, your fucking character just goes flying off random like that, you kind of feel that. <laughs> you know? I just fucking say, like, it felt like I got ejected into the barbed wire, spun around it, and fucking ejected again, man. Like, nobody wants me in this game. Even the barbed wire wants fucking rid of you. Even gravity don't want no to do with you. It wants you gone as quickly as possible. That was a, that's a shame. Though, because I had a really good thing going off there. They were coming at me one at a time. Yeah, here we go. I can't see them. But the sound alert tells me that, yeah, I've triggered them. And yet, the, um, the samurai strategy is the way it fucking go. Bring him in once at- Whoa, oh, you shit in fuck.
bring him in one at a time. As soon as that meteor at the bottom right of the minimap hits fucking red, you know, you know you're fucked. You know you, they're, they're coming. And there is one more still, unless it fled. Oh, 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 where, 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 where? Nice. Oh, I'll take that. What was that? It was a boar's hoof. Boar hooves can be used to produce a number of drugs, including an anti-radiation serum. Yeah. So this one's not very cryptic. It just required you to actually get there. Oh, a meat chunk. And another... Oh, I've already got grabbers. Yeah. Oh, I want to use that myself. I don't want to give it to the fucking customer. I want to use it myself. Why am I so ir irradiated? Like... Vodka me out. In fact, you know what? I'm going for a straight run here. Vodka me out again. There we go. Right, back onto the main road. No. No. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to take it. No. No. Yeah. Nice. Ah, the main fucking road. Nice. Man. They make you fucking work through those, like, like compounds and shit. They do not, in fact, you know what, just in case, man. They do not fuck about. The mutants ain't fucking about, the anomalies ain't fucking about, the military ain't fucking about, none of it is fucking about. Even the fucking weather? And the night fucking, like... That looked awesome, by the way. Can you believe how old this fucking game... I mean, it's not ancient, it's like, what, 2007? 6, 2006, 7, 8, something like that. It might be 2007. Seems to sound right. Was it 2007 for the first one, 2008 for the second, and then 2009 for the third or something like that? I'm, I'm not sure exactly, but still, nice, nice engine. When you consider what they had to do with it. Yeah, beautiful. That's not beautiful. I feel like I can actually get in from this direction. Oh, where? No, 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 don't, don't, don't stress that. You're not going to move towards me again, are you? Oh, God damn. <laughs> just... Okay. That doesn't look like a way I can go. Oh, my God. Look at them all down there. You, you've surely got to come from the other direction. Yeah. Oh, can I? Gee. I wonder if the rain in the dark scrambled the AI's detection range there. Which it should. Oh my god! I just went through all the effort to get those artifacts out of that tunnel, walk out. It's like, hey, what's that light? It's really bright. Is that a car that's got its lights left on again? No, that's three fucking military dudes with fucking flashlights. I was about to say, please tell me it's light in um, the garbage place, but that wouldn't make sense. World-wise, you've literally just gone down the path. You've not, like, changed continent or time zone. Oh, fucking hell, bandits, man. Oh, 
Now look how much easier they go down. Fucking head glitching like shit here. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that hit you, bud. Yep. Sneaky fucking game, man. Just dropping a few fucking random bandits on your way back. What's that about then? Fucking hidden backpacks, some shit like that. Okay. Wait, the door's closed now. Oh wait, no, it's this one. Okay. Hey, I remember this. I did this. Yep. Oh. Bit of stale bread hanging out on that guy. I'm definitely overweight. Yeah, yeah. No fucking doubts there. Can I even jump? Oh, I'm too exhausted to walk now. Which is a shame, because I just need to get to that guy there. Dude, I'll put my gun away in a second. Right. Hello. Fucking right. Gone. Gone. Um. Gone, gone, gone. Artifacts. Keep the meat chunk. Keep the stone bloods. I'll keep the artifacts for the moment. When I need the money, I'll dump the artifacts out, but until such a time. It'll be alright. I don't I'm starting to fucking stockpile this shit like fuck man. Like these stone flowers and other shit like that, like they're worth quite a bit and I'm just stockpiling the motherfuckers. They're not heavy, but they are adding weight. Give it like that. He actually doesn't have enough money to buy my shit out anymore. Oh yeah, okay. Like I, I didn't, I didn't even fucking realize. The vendors have money as well. I tell you, man, the systems in stock could go deep, real fucking deep. Man, I've got a full fucking. That'd be an achievement if that were fucking. If that had steam achievements, that'd definitely fucking be somewhere there. Putting an, an artifact into every single slot. Well, that's better. I'm still a bit too heavy. Wait. Trade, sir? Nope. Sir, trade. Aha. Oh, he's got some money on him as well. Very good, very good. Uh, get rid of that broken piece of shit. Oh, the, the dog tail was actually worth some. Okay. And the hoof. Uh, I shall keep the rest. For now. Maybe another set or two when I start to pull the trigger on, just like... Uh, you see, I'm not sure if the artifacts are going to be used for, like... Oh shit, get more bandages. I don't know if it's going to be like, well, if you get this artifact and you get that artifact and you combine them all together, voila, you get, like, this fucking new artifact or something like that. It's like, oh, I see, I didn't fucking know that. I've been selling all my fucking shit. Yeah, bandages, really good. Anti-radiation, really good. What? Nah, nah, nah. And could you imagine? You're in the fucking... I mean, I know explosion zone's a little bit fucking messed up and shit like that, but you're just walking around. It's like, oh, there we go. There's just like a thousand rubles on the, flat, the ground I just found. Get that shit sold. Not bad, man. I mean, maybe don't do it in the middle of fucking night when it's fucking raining and shit like that and you can't see more than a few feet in front of you, but, you know... Yeah? Oh. Is that like a pre-set up to the next? Because that's where I'm going to the um, bartender guy. Military? 
It doesn't look like it though. What? Well, I, what, like, I don't even know who you guys are, you're like fucking Starcraft fucking guys. Fucking ghost and shit, or maybe some kind of like fucking later Command and Conquer like fucking Nod unit. Like, I didn't know if you were military, I didn't know if you were fucking stalkers. Apparently they belong to Dewey. Tell me something interesting. Oh, nothing, he says. Just trying to make it. Okay. I'll take your bandage. What's my ammo stitch like? Horrific. AK-74. I need some fucking 74 fucking rounds, yep. How about you? I'll take your bandage. I'll take your 74. How about you, sir? Bandage. Supply fort. Fuck! Bandage and supply fort. I think it's... Is it 545? Five? Yeah, 545. Five. Okay. Any loot for me? Because it actually sells quite nice. No, okay. Oh. 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 Instead of these guys, man, they got fucking... They got radiation suits on a fucking different level to fucking my shit. And there's so many boxes and there's nothing in there. Such a fucking tease. Hey, there was a few more guys around here. Did I trade your shit out yet? Nope. I'll take your shit. How about you? Did I trade your shit out yet? Nope. I'll take you. Nope. You don't have the things they've prior. Nope. Never mind. Fuck you. How about you? I shall take your ammo and I shall take your bandage. How's the money doing? Oh, that's fine. Shall take your bandage. Bandage and ammo. Ammo. You seem like the main man here, didn't you? Warrant officer. Alt stalker, you can't go any further. Why? Because that's our territory, duty territory, and we're very picky about who we let into our base. If you don't have anything important to discuss with our leaders, you ain't getting past here. But I need to pass. I have some business with the barkeep. Yes, barkeep told us about you. You can pass. Well, they've just fucking... put me on guard there for no reason. Say hi to the barkeep for me when you see him. Oh, and don't forget, there are lots of anomalies on the way, so watch your step. <laughs> Alright. Man, he won't get in, I can fucking see him. Back onto the road? Yep. Fucking Silver Nightwing there saying Liam walks up to all those dudes pointing guns in his face and he's like, you want to trade? <laughs> yeah. Trade or die, bitch. <laughs> you know. One new profit. Oh, we both profit. They were I only profit, you know. Trade or die. What do you mean come back for the reward? Is that already fucking done, man? I guess this was him. Oh, there's no way! It's fucking... Oh... Sidorovich is so far away. I can't believe he wants me to come back for that. It can fucking wait. It can wait. I suspect it, that won't be the last time I go near Corbin or something like that, so he can fucking work. What the fuck?
fuck is all this then? Apparently it's wild territory, but it looks kind of built up to me for being wild territory, but go on then. Oh my god. Do you love it when light, you, you think that there's no there, and then the lightning fucking strikes and you just see, like, stuff you don't want to see. They're coming. I'm safe. I have never known a dog to be able to jump. <laughs> it's literally impossible. Yeah, I thought so. Scientifically impossible to be caught at the moment. Apparently. It has de aggroed them though. So I reckon... Fuck it. I'm definitely re -aggroed. Oh yes, definitely re -aggroed. Oh. It was thinking about it. Oh, it's thinking about it again. Oh. Oh, bandits. Nope. Holy shit. Man. Oh, I see what it's saying underneath them now as well. I'm gonna hover over them. Duty. Duty. Yeah. Okay. Man, if people keep selling me fucking bullets. AK-74. And I am buying the right bullets for her. AK-74, yeah, okay, right. I just keep stocking up on fucking... I need my bandages back, and I need my bullets back. Man, I should be getting fucking plus rep from all this fucking trading. Like, the amount of money I'm putting by fucking these guys, like... He's like, almost 25% richer now because of that trade. There was a massacre by the outpost. What happened? That's the last wave of mutants that came before the blowout. That's what they're called. Blowouts. Yo, know, like the emissions. Blowout. It's quite for three or four days, and then there's another wave. If not for us, there'd be no bar, there'd be no duty. We're the last barrier in the way of these crazy mutants. A lot of our boys meet their end here. I'd like to know something. Could you tell me a little about this place? Before the accident in 86, there was an in Sorry, this was an industrial area. As you can see, there ain't much left of it now. In the basement by the hangar, you'll find the 100 Rads Bar. In the basement by the hangar. The place is run by the local trader who doubles up as a barman. If you want to trade, talk, get mission, or find out the latest news, that's the place to go. There's also the arena where you can fight and make some cash, really. Dewey's base is not far from the arena. If you want to join Dewey, go straight over there, they'll tell you who to speak to. Oh, by the way, all this area is protected by duty, so behave and keep your weapons holstered. If you start shooting, the patrol will calm you down pretty quickly. In the basement behind the hangar's the bar. He'll mark out my map. That's very kind of him. So the duty base is here. He's marked on the map. That's very kind of him. So there's arena here. Get out of the hangar with the broken roof and you'll end up right in front of it. I'm marking your map. Thank you very much. Um, just in case it's overwriting each mark. That's the bar one. You have a job for me. Purge the dog layer. Despite our efforts, some monsters still managed to break through from the garbage. Probably saw a pack of dogs to the south of us. If you kill them and get a ward. Uh, I do not want that task. Okay, okay. Wow, I didn't get a second option then either. Like, I could have turned it down. Uh, maybe some other time. I'll just go, nope. Don't want it to do with that. And it's fucking gone now. Okay. See, bud. I traded with you two, didn't I? Seems not. Otherwise, you would not have bandages and you would not have bullets. That's an F6 right there. So I'm assuming that's the barkeep? What's this guy down here? Straight down the road. Some fucking general. Oh, I'd say, like, in the graveyard, maybe, but... That'll be a stash work. It is. It's quite a cool slash grim stash, is that, with the, um, the stalker's fucking... 
sight marked and the fucking mask over it and shit like that. Atmospheric. Well, I was lied to. It wasn't anywhere near as much of a straight shot run down here as I was led to believe. And this place needs some indoor lighting. Round here? Nope, that's to nowhere. That's where I came in. That's a fucking wall. A tall one, no less. Maybe up here? Nope. Okay. Man, I'm glad he's got a big green arrow on him, otherwise I'd no- I'd fucking get into this crevasse of the fucking base. This area is close to outsiders. Yeah? Where do you let outsiders in? Where did you naive boys come from? There's a war going on, right? We're fighting freedom bandits. The worst type of bandits. We have regular skirmishes with their fighters in the wild territory. A war with freedom? Why? Because there's no place for these um, freedom bandits in the zone. They must be destroyed. If you're interested, go ask the barkeep to explain everything. I'm busy. Yeah, see you later. I will take your bullets in the meantime, though. Oop, nope. Uh, yep, yep. There we go. Same with you, bud. Same with you, bud. Nope. He's too much about the- No, oh, wow. Yo, um, I mean, I guess they kind of warned me. <laughs> I might go towards the barkeep for the moment instead of the, um, general gated community over there. He doesn't like visitors. Sits in the most fucking shunted away into the corner bit of the fucking base, and then as a fucking bunch of dudes. I mean, I granted they said, we, we don't let anybody through. We don't like fucking newcomers going through here. We don't like it. And then, you know, I, I, I didn't expect them to go all KOS that fast, you know? <laughs> fucking mean. Well, you're clearly a character. It's fucking Arne, it's like, yo, I've got a fucking new fight for you, go on then. So your first fight, your opponent's a piece of meat just like you. He's here because of debts and he only has two options, to come out and fight or to throw himself to the nearest anom anomaly. He's gonna fight like a cornered badger. Equipment for today, let me think. Okay, why don't you use two Makarovs? What? what do no, so why don't you two use Makarovs? Two mags each should be plenty. Either you kick his ass or you feed it to dogs. Not much of a choice, go on now. A straight up gulag shit. So that's where fucking COD got it from. And granted, it's not the only arena in town, like, but you know, still like that fucking that was You know, like here's your load out, here's the other fucking guy, you're in here, one of you fucking goes on, one of you fucking done. It's like even the little arena map sort of thing. Turn my light off. There he is. <laughs> he didn't have a chance. He had no fucking chance, man. A thousand for that. Nice. Your last fight didn't mean shit. I mean, to fair, it was two bullets. They were, they were good bullets, but, you know, it was only two bullets. You're still the same piece of meat you were before, and no self-respecting stalker will bet a single mag on you. If you want to earn some proper cash, you're going to have to make it through a few more appearances in the arena. Your new opponent also got through the first round, and his fight was a lot harder than yours. Well, I, I don't doubt. I don't like him, to be honest. He kills too quickly and the crowd doesn't like that. So go in and show us what you can do. The stakes will increase after this fight, and all you got to do is stay alive. Move it. I'm ready. Alright, so he's got body armor and shit. But I don't. Do I fuck? I've got some military documents. And an MP5. Okay. But you fuck. Now. 
Are you going to fall back on yourself? Or are you going to come out of there? No, you're just going to hold your ground though. Alright. Holy shit! Is that it? Alright. Slight glancing blow from him, but no worries. What? I actually took the condition from that. Fuck you. Do I have to do these in succession, or could I go, like, I'm not ready, and then, like... Cause, I mean, to be fair, I'm not ready. Where's my shit? That better have all my shit. Oh, I was gonna fucking say. I need a bandage, man. Um, I'll take a bit of salami. And... A bandage. Yeah. And I'll fucking save that shit. Yeah, no right, outlaw. It's like, damn, that's one steal a machine gun. That thing was super accurate compared to the ones I get. Well, well, you're not as much of a pussy as you first seemed. Now it's time to test you out in a real fight. You're up against two guys. One guy's called, um, Swede. And I don't remember the second one's name. They were paired up intentionally as they hate each other's guts, so don't worry about them working together as a team. They're more likely to shoot each other. And today is rifle day, so don't let them get too close or we'll have to pick you up piece by piece. The odds are 10 to 1, so if you win, you'll make a fair amount of... Yeah, not bad. Off you go. Alright. Okay, so a couple of you. One with less... head armor than the other guy, so I'll... And you've given me a shotgun. It's not really rifle day for me, though, is it? The other guy's not even noticed. He will now. Whoop! Whoop! Where did he go? <laughs> Where did he go? There he is. Look at me being all strategic. Like, I normally I want to just run over here and just figure it out as I got over here. I was gonna say, man, it's happening. It is fucking happening. There's no way that you miss point blank with a shotgun and then I don't pull out a knife and punish your shit. <laughs> man. Can't believe I missed that. We're not, you're not experienced enough for this fight. Alright, okay. I like that though. Nice little flex session over there. Very good. I will take your bandage. I will take your... Wait, 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 wait. They're different. I'm a piercing bullet for the Enfield. A ZM, a SIG. Heckler and Cock. Oh, G36, that'd be nice. Or an FN F2000. Nah, nah, nah. All right. Yeah, slightly misplayed that last guy. Uh, and then he missed his shot, so it allowed me just to completely flex on the motherfucker and knife him. <laughs> Solid game with its atmosphere and shit, man. Yeah, I actually just completely forgot what we're doing, like... I'm sure I was heading towards an objective and something like that. They're not correct, no. Yeah, I was trying to get towards the fucking bar. You don't have an objective, do you? Nah. Fuck these mercs, he says. They've been drinking our blood for a long time and now they've turned on the eggheads too. And why did they give in? Because of some ransom or to share their normal prize? Um, not Nobel Prize, but Nobel Prize. Said something about... In the basement behind the hangar or something like that, like... This place is a fucking maze. 
Oh, oh, this looks promising though. It said something about a fucking basement. Hey, right, dude. Ah, this looks like the fucking place, man. This is not what I was thinking of, by the way. And nope, that's not the barkeep I was thinking of. How's it going? I don't think so, anyway. Hey, Mark one. Have you brought the documents from the Institute? Here are the documents from the Institute. Great work, Mark one. We have the documents at last. I need to have a look at them now. And maybe I'll work out how to get north. While I do that, if you have problems with money, you can fight at the arena. The owner of the arena is Arnie. I've uploaded his coordinates. Yeah. Okay. Or the grace the arena. Brought from the institute makes some things a little clearer, but we're still missing the info we need to get a full picture. A lead designated X18 is mentioned, and its description matches the abandoned underground vaults in the Dark Valley. Looks like you'll have to go there and get the info we need. The lab is closed, and you need two electronic keys to get inside. I'll give you one, but you'll need to get the other one from Bull in the Dark Valley. What the fuck have they got locked up with, like, double keys around here? All you have to do is acquire the second key to Lab X-18, get inside, and retrieve the second batch of documents. Don't forget to get yourself a protective suit. Or you won't have a chance in hell of getting to the lab. So, will you do it? I'll fucking try. Still in that fucking protective suit. I oh, did say I received an item, stalker suit. We shall see. I want to know something. What do you know about Straylock? An experienced stalker, as far as I know. He used to work through the northern exits from the zone. He was hardly ever seen here. But there are rumours that he took his group right into the centre of the zone. What do you know about a stalker they call Ghost? He's one of Strelok's men. They say he can sneak in anywhere without being noticed. I heard that he took out the leader of some crazy group. What was the name? Final Day, that's the one. They were pretty wild, those boys. Oh, by the way, I heard that Ghost is doing some job for the scientists, so if you're looking for him, try by Lake Yanta at the mobile lab. About Fang. There's a man who went by that name and spoke of a lisp. It was a bit weird, that's for sure. Talked to himself and shit, but he seemed like an okay guy. I haven't seen him at the bar in ages. Let's wish Granta. There's a man here that went by that name, spoke- Wait, well, no, I can't be right. There we go. Well, that's an interesting question, I wish I knew the answer. I can tell you about the, um, the legend- Sorry, I can tell you the legend about the Granta if you want. But... You make up your own mind how much truth there is in it. Wanna hear it? Yeah, sure, tell me the story. This legend is about the monolith, which may be what caused the zone to appear. When the zone exploded in 2006, they evacuated people living near it, and the zone itself was cordoned off by the army. I didn't actually realise we were this far along. Like, I don't know what time zone I thought this was set in, but I didn't actually think it was, like, post-2000. Everyone was panicking, nobody knew what was going on, the zone was expanding, and the field labs couldn't do anything. Lots of people died there. Everyone was afraid of the radiation, me too, and uh, which could affect half of Europe. After a few years had passed, some reckless guys like you appeared. They called themselves stalkers. They started to sneak past army cordons, believing there are things in the zone which would make them rich. Bit by bit, they brought out weird things like artifacts, which eventually turned into a race for them. Scientists went after them like crazy. They paid fantastic money for just one trinket back then. Not like now. After a while, the first tales and legends about what's deep inside the zone by the tumble-down nuclear power plant started to circulate. It was also then that one of the veterans told us the story of Monolith that allegedly grants you wishes. You should have seen the hysteria. Experienced, level-headed men started trying to break through to the centre. Everyone wanted something from the Monolith. We got some morbid details about the first stalker who made it through to the Monolith. When the zone had just appeared, many people were trapped inside and cut off from the outside world. Most of them died pretty quickly, but there were a few lucky survivors who tried to do something about it. One of these survivors found himself by the station and noticed some strange light inside. With no way back, he decided to try and get closer. He saw the broken roof of the sarcophagus and the light coming out of it. He climbed up the wall and looked inside. Among the debris of metal and molten concrete, there lay a massive black rock. It was the monolith. 
The stalker managed to shake off the spell and realized that he had climbed very close to the sarcophagus, which was highly radioactive. He was scared to death, but through the fear, he could sense the monolith calling to him. The monolith called to him, and he came to see the strange, unbelievable things about the monolith inside his head. No shit. Yeah, shit. I don't know what's true in this story and what's not, but the point is the guy made a wish which came true and the zone grew by five kilometers. That's a really random wish, but never. Um, it seems the zone gobbles up more land for- Oh, I see, for every wish that's granted. But that ain't gonna stop hotshots like you. They keep trying to break through with their precious little wishes in their hearts. It's like, there's no way that guy got there. It's like, okay, Monolith's like, yo, dude, I'll give you a fucking wish. And Stalker's like, I wish the exclusion zone grew by five kilometers. Your wish is fucking granted, my bro. <laughs> hey, what I do? Very informative. In the kitchen, I have one Stalker that works for me to pay his debts. He is a great weaponsmith. He can repair all your weapons and armor. I will give him the task, so what do you want to repair? Shit. Um... Repair the armor. Um... I don't think I really need to repair the weapon in the second slot. I can just literally loot somebody else's weapon, slap it in there, so no, that's alright, is that? Ooh, wow! What is this? Stalker suit. Oh, the Merc suit from the beginning of the set. Okay. That's a new gun there, a Wolf of P99. Plenty of fucking ammo. Well, bandages are getting bought. Uh... Could probably do some MP5 rounds as well, to be honest. They're... Wait, what's that? Yeah, I've got plenty of Makarov rounds, but not much MP5. Just a little bit. And some more AK ammo. Now it's starting to get expensive, is that though? I don't want anything else throwing quite yet. I might take the anti-rads. Nah, 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 nah. I've got, I've got, like, healing-wise, I'm okay at the moment. Plenty of energy drinks, bandages, med kits, anti-rads, fucking vodka, you name it, I'm alright. What the fuck is that on me? Where did I get this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, I'm definitely paying for that, then. A stalker suit manufactured by Fort Craftsman. It is an effective combination of light military bulletproof vest and of a rubberized fabric suit. It is reinforced with inserted Kevlar plates and provides good protection from weak gunfire. All in all, it's highly inefficient for carrying out deep raids and serious operations in the knots of the zone. Well, it sounded better, but I'll still take it. It is much better than what I had before. Much better. 50% radiation fucking... It's a shame there's no iPad that actually gives you extra ra... Oh, I thought I'd lost all my fucking artifacts for a second there. Like, you know, like... Here's radiation reduction. Bulletproof stuff, bulletproof, rupture, rupture, but nothing. Ooh. There we go. But nothing to stop anything else like that. Oh, that meat chunk. That's for a quest as well, isn't it? Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, wait. Ooh, he's got jobs. Kill the soldier, I'm up for it. Eliminate the bandits of the garbage. Up for it. Killing spree. Killing spree. Hey, Blood Reaper, thank you very much, dude. Blood Reaper's like, Barkeep, I feel you talk um, to... I feel you talk to a lot. Lots of random quests from him for a good reward. P.S. There's a storage box in the corner. <sighs> T.Y. very much, Blood Reaper. Cheers, dude. Oh, just giving that shit as well. Obtain the flesh's eye. Oh, the meat chunk artifact, I'm up for it, already did it. Did I say fish's eye? Flesh's eye. I'm up for that. No more jobs, don't need the faction stuff, don't need the repair, I'm here for the job. Already did it, there we go, very good. Um, any more jobs? Find the Night Star. I need the Night Star artifact. I'm sorry to say it doesn't grant any wishes, been there, done that, but it can make you wealthy. Scientists pay a lot for it. They also, they, oh, sorry, they say they make some military things out of it, so are you up for it? Yeah. 
some kind of awesome armored suit and free grenades. I'm up for it. That's all the jobs. The trade stuff shit uh, seems alright. And there's the end field. Mm. After the British Army replaced this rifle with the German made um, Heckler and Cock G36, it appeared in large quantities, first on the black market and then in the zone. There's all this like alternate history lore and shit like that. It's fucking good, man. The infield's main advantages are a standard 4x scope and the high accuracy of the first shot. In burst mode, its accuracy decreases greatly and the main mechanisms of the rifle are not reliable enough. Seems alright though. Nasty damage. Good accuracy. Not the best of handling, but you know. So can I get rid of my bandit jacket then? I think I might. Yeah, let's get rid. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scientific first aid kit. So it includes means of healing wounds as well as means of eliminating radionucleides. Nuclear? Nucleoids? Radio... Radionucleoids? Something like that. From the body. Prevents the development of radio wave sickness and lowers the dose of accumulated radiation. Alright. Oh, I can get rid of some of these as well. Forgot about that. Uh, You can go. Don't believe I've got any doubled up guns. I've still got all this fucking shotgun ammo on me. I'll keep it for now. Yeah. Ah. So I've got a stash of artifacts at Cordon, and I think I might just do a like, like it's basically the main barkeep guy so far, like um, Sidorovich, and then this guy over here. So I'll store all me. No, wait, we're not them. Just one of them. Uh. No wait, Stoneblood. That's what wants. Yeah, okay, get rid. Get rid of one of them. Get rid of the gravis there. Should just be weapons, consumables, ammo. Consumable in it, but still. Yep, that seems alright. Put that over there. That seems good. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I'm up for killing a traitor. A while ago, another stalker and I were looking for an artifact right next to the Scorcher. We found so much stuff, even found a couple of artifacts that I've never seen before, not even in pictures. So that son of a bitch tricked me. During the last night, he snuck off and hid the most valuable artifacts, and then tried to tell me that they disappeared on their own. A couple of days ago, I saw one of those very rare artifacts at the barkeeps. I was so fucking pissed. Anyway, Stork, if you could find him, send him a lead greeting from me. And while you're at it, maybe you can find out where his secret stash is and get the second artifact. It's worth it, believe me. I'm up for that. I'm also up for your ammo and your bandages. Do you respect me? Come here. I've always got something interesting. What did you hear? Like you. Missing stalkers come back from time to time. It's a scary sight, I tell you. They mumble something and reach for their weapons, which they lost somewhere. One came to a duty outpost some time ago, and a crowd gathered to look at him. Someone even recognised him, it was scary. Red eyes all bloodshot and bruised. Couldn't say a word, just moaned like an animal and then went around in circles. Dewey took him in and he died after a couple of days anyway. Something happens to people in the zone, but what is it? I'd like to know too. Oh, hang on. You have bullets and bandages. I don't think I need any more bandages at this point. I don't think I need any more bullets at this point, neither. No. I think I'm alright now. <laughs> what did you hear? Everyone who believes in the monolith is completely nuts. They keep banging on about it, but nobody actually knows what's in the center of the zone. An invisible crystal that fell from the skies? I reckon it's one of the secret labs... I reckon one of the secret labs blew up. I mean, some stalkers used to work in a few of them. But obviously you can't bomb the zone. Not only would the radiation spread all over the world, half of Europe would be flattened by the zone's reaction. Someone has gone totally mad lately. I heard they're killing normal stalkers for no reason at all. How'd you like that, damn fanatics? I think it deserves some attention. Yoink. You'll never know. I work as a dealer's information, says Snitch. I sell important info and buy charts, documents, and lab records. My information is valuable and very useful to the one who possesses it. I need a job. Kill Master Stalker. We don't like walking dreadnoughts wandering across the zone. Stalkers in exoskeletons armed to the teeth. What the f Fuck. Our work becomes even more dangerous and harder with them around. The fewer of them there are, the better. It's for us. Kill one of them and receive your reward. I don't want mama's beads. I want the fucking exosuit. 
I mean, I'm up for it, but I don't fucking... I don't know about my chances there. I want to buy some information. I can sell you information about Streelock's group virtually for nothing. 4,000 rubles. You've met the wrong fucking guy, man. But you never met a guy that could safe state, fucking get your information and then fucking load again. I'm not gonna. I'm just saying, like, he has no idea. He has fucking no idea. It's located by the Agroprom Research Institute. There's a stash in the underground. It probably contains information about the group's plans and a list of group members. The coordinates to the stash are attached. Well, he actually given the coordinates at least. Right now I have some information about a group that made it to the center of the zone. I'm practically giving it away. Only 2,000 rubles. Well, go on then. Strelok, Ghost and Fang went to the center of the zone. What they found there, no one knows, but... Strelok went missing while Ghost and Fang came back distraught. The latest news on Ghost is that he went to the mobile lab by Lake Yanta. Coordinates to the scientist camp are attached. Very nice. Oh my god, I've got some information about the secret of Lake Yanta. The price is just 3,500 rubles. Any less, I'd be paying you. This guy's fucking fleecing the shit out of me. Go on then. The secret of Lake Yantar is similar to the secret of the Brain Scorcher, and their effects are similar in many ways. Some kind of emission zombifies all who come in contact with it. The zombified stalkers move around the center of some emitter attacking everyone. There's information to suggest that the solution to the riddle of Lake Yantar is below ground. There are coordinates of the emitter at Lake Yantar and those of the Brain Scorcher. Yeah, you don't need more fucking... You, you probably got more information, mate, but you're fucking solid on your money. Like, look at your fucking money now! Look at my money now! I've barely got more than fucking you. What did you just take out of me there? Like, five... Fucking... Nine and a half K or something like that? You motherfucker. Almost split me fucking cash in half, though. And you're drinking bread's mine. Vodka's mine. Vodka's mine. Energy drink's mine. Vodka, bread, tin. Hey, I'm getting my fucking money's back. I'd take the fucking smokes if I could as well. It's fucking sad in here, man. <laughs> I feel you, bro. You have a job for me? Oh, you do. Find the weapon of the duty member. Shouldn't have freaked out like that. The zone fucks with your head. Thought you had good nerves. Never afraid of anything. And now this. The howling in my ears. Everything was going as usual. There was a scouting expedition to the Dark Valley when we... Got down into the trench with Crevoy to cover the rest of the group, and then once I heard the howling, I was gripped by fear. Damn, I don't even remember how I got to the coordinates. When I returned to base, Veronin almost shot me on the spot. He had just given me an enhanced cannon for good service, so to speak. Um, and here, I panicked and took off so fast that I left the cannon there. Could you bring it back for me, or else where will I go without a decent weapon? I'm up for it. What you, bud? Can you tell me anything that would be useful to a rookie? Useful to a rookie? Well, listen up. To the north, not far from the Brain Scorcher, Freedom have set up their HQ in an old military base. They're notorious nihilists, anarchists and criminals. Freedom fighters, fucking guerrillas, all of them. All they do is sabotage research groups, attack army units, and constantly skirmish with duty. Killing spree. Hey Bethesda, thank you very much dude. The skirmishes are now spilling over into a small scale war for survival. Let me give you some advice, never get involved with them. They only accept you if you're totally crazy and there's a reward on your head. Can you believe that? Too hard for the advice dude. Hey Bethesda, thank you dude. Okay that's enough he says. Was going to let Stalker off but now they have exoskeletons. Power armor is our thing Russian bastards. <laughs> I mean, now you mention it. Yeah, in exosuits, like a Fallout sort of thing. I seem to uh, like, remember, like... Man, like I say, I've not played fucking any Fallout things. I just... You always see, like, the, the exosuits on, like, the box art and, like, you know, fucking memes and other shit like that. In the, like, like weird targeting system in Fallout where it kind of, like, zooms in and you get to, like, select, like, an arm or a leg or a head and stuff like that and... But yeah, I, will go, I, got, I fucking I agree with you there, dude. I was surprised to hear about exosuits and shit in there as well. I mean, I'm assuming it's not some mech-level ex exosuit, but still. Like, what the fuck? I've only just fucking realised we're in 2000s here. I thought it was like eight, late 80s, 90s. I thought this was literally a few years afterwards. It may have said on the intro and I may have missed it. Damn. 
Wait, I've got a big problem, man. Lost my family rifle in the West... Uh, sorry, Wild Territory. I went to shoot some bloodsuckers, but I barely got away. Damn, listen, bro. If you work? get it back, I'll pay you. I've made a little cashier and I'll give you all of it. Just get my rifle back. Hmm. It's a family rifle, you know? Passed down from father to son and I lost it. I'm going used to it. It's like an extension of my arm now. I'll tell you what, dude. I'll get your rifle. Oh, you had more. How did I manage that? You had more jobs as well, okay. I guess you're telling me I can't go forward. But yeah, I see what you're saying there, um, Bethesda. Cheers again for the tip, man. Much preach. The heist of preach. I don't think he's letting me around there. Well, that was clearly the fucking quest hub of quest hubs, wasn't it? Like, there's a load of fucking, like, story and lore and shit like that, and, um... Get your shit to fucking work. Oh my god. I mean... I'm here, it reckons. Family rifle's over there. Go and be a family rifle. And shit to the right. I don't even know, like, the zone connections. I guess I need to go back to garbage? Man, they don't, they, they don't give no fucks, do they? It's like, yo, I'm gonna give you a quest. It may be two zones over. This is fucking EQ level shit. My, my, by the way, I love zones. I think it's because of, like, EQ days and shit. It just sends me fucking back. But I actually like zones. It's like, well, in that shit, don't you want it to be, like, seamless where you just go from one zone to the next? Like, yeah, but I kind of like the jank of, like, a zone wall. I don't know, like, from a game perspective, it, it it's all right. Is it saying I've already done something over here? Bring the custom what's been promised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently I've already done something for some guy around here, but who? Wasn't this guy. I'm pretty... I can't even fucking talk to him now. He's too busy watching TV. Man, that is really good reception. Um, I'm here for the job. Um, well, let's try the PDA. Come back for the reward. Which 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 guy's that? Come back for the reward. Yeah, but which guy's that? Oh, that's the one. So apparently somewhere that I'm sat on, like, it's like right behind me. This can't be it, though. No? No? Like, I don't think I'm misinterpreting that. It's saying there's a mission complete over here, but... Eliminate the bandits at the garbage, come back for the reward. Reward is saying right here, but doesn't say the NPC. Wipe out the bandit gang that has settled uh, the garbage. It has to be quick and efficient, and unlike the quest log. Wait. No, it's not been done. This is the one that's been done. Ah, wait, wait, no, wait. What, so they're both for fucking, um, Sidorovich? So what's the, what's, which one? Yeah, find that, come back for a reward, find that, come back for a reward. So these ones down here haven't been done. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So which, which what's it saying has been completed next to me? It's saying that's the one that's been done, but it hasn't actually been done yet. That's where you would hand it in. But it's it's, it's lighting up green like you've done it. I can, I'm actually going to let myself off for getting confused there. That's lighting up green like you've done it and you'd have something to hand in, but you don't. And no, what I, no matter what I click down here, it's still fucking like, yo, no, it's it's still good. Uh, it's, uh, right, okay. Okay. A little bit confusing there to figure out what I've done and what I am and like where to hand it in and who to there, but I... 
It does say come back for the reward. Bring the customer what's been promised. Return the rifle to the hunter of the bar. Or then again, like... Ah, oh, that's where it says anyway. Like, okay, yeah, confusion over. Well, I've got two quests that's the fucking Sidorovich. And I've, I've got to be honest, I've got to go into this central point here to fucking move up there anyway. Hey, lads. I, um... <laughs> I might have to actually end the fucking set at the same place where I started it. Like, it's going to be back at Cordon, I think. When I can actually escape the maze. Maybe that direction out. Uh, maybe this way. Killing spree. Hey, you're a top man, Blood Reaper. Thank you very much, dude. Be fucking careful as well if I accidentally stumble into that guy's fucking gated community again and get shot. Fucking lost. I'm going the wrong direction, that's for sure. It's better be that way. Yeah, cheers again there, Blood Reaper. He's saying the green dot filled on the left is when something is done. Look at the other quests, for example. Um, you select from the tracker OTG. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I see what I mean. That's saying it's tracked, isn't it? Meow, 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 meow. No, I'm feeding you in a minute. I'm feeding you in a minute. You can calm your fucking cat tits right down. It's fucking happening soon, sweetie boy. Hang on. Not even there. Not even there. Ma. You can hang on. Yeah, cheers again, Blood Reaper. I see what I mean, like, about the tracker now. So if I wanted to track, say... Something I've actually fucking done. Find the artifact meat chunk. There we go. I can't track that one as such, but... Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, cheers again, dude. Like I say, Stalker's just a game of, like, a lot of mechanics that you've seen borrowed by other games over the years. Oh my god, I'm so fucking lost to get out of here. But, like, the overall, like, it's like there's... It, it's really... It, it, it's strange, like, you can see so many mechanics that have been borrowed from it. So it's not that unfamiliar, but yet the combination of all its stuff together makes it kind of like, it's got a bit of a curve to it. Nothing immense or like that, because like I say, a lot of, like, I, I could definitely see like... If you play this on release, the combination of all the different mechanics and stuff like that, yeah, that, that could have been a bit of a blagger. Wait, which way did I come from originally? See, I thought this was going back to garbage, but is this the... Whoa, 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 no, no, it's just because I got my knife out, I'm quick saving just in case. But you know, if you played like Escape from Tarkov and some other kind of games like this since, it's like, yeah, you can do all oh, this mechanics like this and this mechanics like that and shit like that. But put yourself around Stalker release and shit, there's quite a few little mechanics here and there and everywhere that could definitely catch you. Just the way that certain shit works, like even with the PDA and... Quite a few other little bits and bobs just all add up to a different cocktail, you know? Like a survival, horror, open, worldy, very AI-centric sort of shooter. Not really RPG. I don't think you can call it an RPG, but it's definitely like a survival horror. It's like a a slightly open world survival horror set in the exclusion zone made very much in its own idea, you know, like this isn't like you know, this isn't a game that came out in the last few years that went, okay, we're a little bit like this game and we're a little bit like this game and then we've got a little bit of his own stuff it's like, this seemed very much like Almost every idea in Stalker was pretty much of its own, for the most part. Not everything, you know, it didn't invent shooters and shit like that. 
it didn't invent survival horror or like that. But, you know, just the combination of everything together, it, it, it had its own fucking designs. Oh my god, for the first time today, it's actually getting light. I can turn the flashlight off. Holy shit. Wow. So at least next set won't, won't be under the fucking night. I mean, it meant it med for fucking interesting fights. Can't say it fucking didn't, man. I... I I loved... I, I, do you know, I've, I've heard about Stalker's AI. Because Stalker has quite a lot of AI subsystems. How everything works and how everything interacts with each other. I need to check out that place to write. Wait. It's because it's light and I can fucking see it properly now. I've been there multiple times today, man. The first major fights happened there and past that and shit. Fucking hell. It looks different in the day when I can see it. But you know, like, it... it it's almost... It, that That's what... Yeah, Zach in chat there saying A-Life. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, that's what they call it. A-Life. Fucking son of a bitches. I almost had a slight panic then. Did I sell all my fucking guns? Alright, I'm definitely gonna need to um, shift crouch that shit. God, they got down so much easier than military. So we need to move. They don't seem to like acquiring shots at that range, but it's fine by me. Slowly plink them down. Nice little two or three shot bursts. Worst case scenario is a couple of bullets out of three are going into the chest. Best case, one out of the few is going into the head. Especially do like two or three shot bursts, and that's just classic fucking recall control right there. Doing like three shot bursts and just like aiming into the chest and kind of like pulling down a little bit just to keep it either in the chest or veering up into the head. Classic. Oh, I'll take all your goodies because I'm about to go fucking selling. No, yeah, they were more than just you two, uh, you three though, weren't they? Yeah, there we go. Oh, he had an MP5. I'm sure there was more than that, but that'll do me. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Proper fucking. Innocent looking motherfuckers just sat here. Oh, just loads of bullets in there. Yeah, I didn't want them. Didn't want them at all. What, what have you got? Oh, just med kits and bandages. Yeah, I want to give a fuck about them. Could have happily walked past them and not ever given a fuck. Get out. Killing spree. Hey, most kind of you there, Blood Reaper. Cheers, dude. What are you saying here? What are you saying here? Uh, now you know why people want Stalker too. Yeah, I gotta be honest. When Stalkers 2 started to do rounds, you see, over years, I, mean, I can talk as I'm fucking running back to cordon over here, as long as I don't get ganked. See, this is shit that I fucking like as well, like, clearly some random band of mutants has, like, come across some outpost here. Is that right? Maybe the mutants are hungry. Maybe the mutants just accidentally stumbled across it. Who fucking knows, maybe they've got a different plan entirely. I believe I need an energy drink. Let's get that stamina back. Um, but yeah, I've, I've said a few times over the last couple of sets, you know, I mainly just potted around, fucked about with mods and, you know, just enjoyed fucking about in the little, like, first half an hour, 45 minutes of a sandbox. Fuck. That's very, very heavy. Get rid of the shotgun. Nope. That's not how you get rid of a shotgun. Unload it. Drop it. In fact, unload everything while I'm here. That's okay. Unload. Unload. Right, can I move? I can indeed. But then Stalker 2 came out. I'm oh, sorry, I um, started being talked about. And yeah, everyone went fucking apeshit on that. Like, oh my god, fucking Stalker 2 and stuff. Some slight concerns about whether, because, I mean, obviously, I mean, you can see it. This is fucking 100% a PC game, isn't it? Just with, like, the inventory management. I mean, granted, you could get this shit done nowadays fairly easy enough and shit like that, but you know. Between all the different fucking keys, let me just fucking crouch, let me go prone, let me just fucking... 
You know, here's my PDA, there's my fucking map, there's my fucking inventory, let me fucking move shit around, like, fucking here's my lean left, here's my fucking lean right, there's my fucking sprint. I'm sure there's other fucking buttons that I'm fucking messing, probably quite a few of them, fucking flashlight over here. Like, it's a PC game. Now, granted, you can condense all that shit into a pad. You can see all the fucking controls here and shit like that, I mean, you don't need some of this bottom shit, but still the rest of it. Now, nowadays, you could probably condense that shit into a pad without much effort. I've lost which direction I'm going, lads. It's not that way. There we go. But yeah, there was, um, there's some fears, like, just the state of, um, gaming nowadays, like, this isn't gonna like stalker 2 is not gonna come out as a pc game is it it's gonna come out as a cross-platform game console it's already confirmed consoles steam etc and shit like that so i think some of the stalker bets at least from what i gathered this was when stalker 2 first got released some of the stalker bets are a little bit concerned that it's gonna be consolified consolified you know what i'm saying it's gonna be consoled up like fuck um that would be a mistake. That is a canine centipede. You see some truly horrifying shit in Stalker, man. Two sets. And you just see some absolutely amazing stuff. Two sets in of the first game. And there's already been some fantastic shit, man. Already happy with this. But, man, I didn't, ang I didn't anger the fucking... The dogapede, I hope. Yeah, okay. But but let's let's be fair. Let's be fair. Regardless of what they'd shown, there were there was guaranteed to be pushback. Like, it doesn't matter what stock. Who knows what stock two is gonna be like? I'm just fucking shitting out obvious fucking shit here. Obvious internet shit. Uh, 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 bear with me a minute. Well, uh, shit. Obvious internet being obvious. Um, you know, regardless of whether it's the best thing or not. Some people will fucking hate Stalker 2 before it's even released. Regardless of whether it's been cut down for consoles or not, people will accuse it of being cut down from now all the way up to release. So who fucking knows until it's out? <laughs> like... Word till it's out. Judge it on how it fucking plays then. To make it... Well, you see, the thing is, like, if you didn't put it on every platform now, that's a financial mistake. Like, hey, I'd rather it fucking just be on PC and only care about the PC and not give a fuck about the rest. But that's a fight. That's a business mistake, isn't it? Just to have your game only on PC when it's a shooter and you could easily make it playable on a, co a console. But there's there's obviously there's better and fucking worse ways of fucking doing it. If they get all the depth of the game and they just get rid of it so it's easier to control in a pad, yeah, they, they'll deserve to be laid into. Like I say, I really would not blame the developer for making it cross-platform, but they need to retain the, the like, as far as PC players are concerned, it, it didn't even see a console part, you know, like... Woo! While they're busy. Now, that might have just been like he was looking at somebody else and trying to shoot someone. There's, there's no guarantee he's trying to shoot me. Okay, now it's feeling like a bit of a guarantee I'm trying to get shot. Yeah, th this is happening, isn't it? Not very, not very well, though. No, I'm going to still reload my save, but still. I might even let him kill me. But yeah, like I say, my apologies, obvious shit is obvious. If they make it cross-platform, it would be nice to not feel like it's cross-platform. Hmm, really? People are going to be fucking mad about Stalker 2 before Stalker 2 even releases because it's going to multi-platform and that's a bit of a warning sign as far as PC players go. You can't blame them for thinking that. It's not like that, that mentality's come out of nowhere or like that. I mean, shit, there's a lot of games that got fucking butchered in being made cross-platform. So you can see why, you know... They love the series, the Stalker series, the mods, anything like it, and then, you know, you're looking forward to Stalker 2 after that amount of time. Yeah, you might be a little bit apprehensive that it's going to get screwed over in being um, ported to console, but... That would be, like, the most obvious mistake to make. 
like, I'd like to assume and give some respect to the dev though, you know, like, that would be an obvious mistake to make. It should have been the first thing that you endeavour to not do. Like, people are gonna go at us. If we make Stalker 2 what's been predominantly a PC series, if we make it now a very much a console series, people are gonna go fucking nuts. It, it, it's it's literally like the first like what would be the what what would people complain about with Stalker 2? Like that's like numbers one, two, and three. Like so, I I'd like to give them respect and not fall for that. We shall see ya. We shall see. And Blood Reaper they're saying as well, people want the true sequel this year and stuff like that. Is it coming out this year? I thought that was I thought that was like a 2023 fucking deal with that. Very good. Very good. Man, I am struggling to um, get back to Cordon Ovary. I think I'm gonna crack one more energy drink. Here we go. Yeah, cheers again, Blood Reaper. And I, I say I didn't even know that was coming out this year. It was just completely random with me. I'm like. It's, it's overdue, man. I want to play some fucking Stalker. Don't want to mess around with mods anymore. I actually want to fucking play the game proper. Do a proper fucking HD stuff of it and stuff. And it, it timed quite nicely, like... A little bit of survival horror, you know, get going into October 22 and stuff like that. Yeah, it timed about right. Hey, if fucking Stalker 2 is going to be out by end of year, fucking fantastic, but damn, that seems quick. Oh! Yeah, but, uh, uh, Blood Reaper in chat is saying wouldn't be surprised if it got pushed back. Zach adds like it's 2023 as far if I remember correctly and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it was. I was thinking like Jesus Christ. So that's gonna be out what in the next couple of months? <laughs> Shit tons of mods, Cyclonia. Shit tons of mods. It's um, like seriously, the the Stalker modern on um, places like you know Mod DB. The Stalker Modern is second only to Doom Modern. Doom Modern number one, Stalker Modern like number two, sort of like. It's they're definitely top three, those two. Very, very, very popular modern scene. Which is why I, I was saying uh, Blood Reaper that it would be a massive, massive oversight by the devs to not allow the game to be modded. That would be a massive oversight. That's where people would be completely legitimate in complaining and if you can't mod it. That's not going to go down well. And if you slay the game in console menus and obvious ease of use console functionality, that, like, yeah. So surely they won't make the, the most obvious mistake followed by the second most obvious mistake. I have only just played Stalker games. I have no idea about the competency of the dev at all. No idea. Um, all I know about the dev is they made a game that was kind of like Stalker, but about UFOs. It was like almost like the, the alpha for Stalker. And it was about aliens and shit like that or whatever. And they took the idea. They didn't think they did a good job with it. They took the idea and basically ran it through Roadside Picnic, the story, to come out with Stalker. And they went, yep, that's what we wanted. Exactly that. Other than that, I have no idea how competent, how good the dev is, or anything. I've got no idea how the fucking games are all overall, but... Very, very revered series. As far as, like, PC shooters go and stuff like that, very, very revered series. And I can see why. It's got, like, atmosphere and kind of, like... There's a pace to it, man. There's a pace to it. And the AI is beautiful. Really, really nice. You and me banging about AI and stuff like that all the time, and this, and then you know, like mechanics like security cameras, where it feels like the world's moving without you. This world genuinely moves without you. Right and the like, say, the the combat, like, I, actually surprised me. It's fucking fear levels almost. Like, I'm actually fucking surprised. I mean, for the job. Job's done and here's the reward. I got a wrench, the Taurus Delight. I think that was it. Oh my god, he has a lot of missions still. I mean, I'll take them, but I'm not sure if they're getting done so easy. Find the perfected pistol. Alright. Mine Sidorovich is like... 
It's, it's just a fucking quest machine. This guy's got more quests than an in, like fucking barons in Warcraft does, man. Like, get the fuck out of here. You actually going? I mean, out of curiosity, where's he having me going? Food is more valuable than this. So he has put a few in cordon, but yeah, let's just have some over here, we'll have some over there. Like, I'm sure some of these are probably Sidorovich's missions. Like, it's fucking bro, man. I mean, when the guy fucking, like, works in the zone, he works in the zone. Like, not the, not the local area, the dude works in the fucking zone. So we're trading out. Makarovs. All gone. You can always loot another pistol at some other time. Silence pistol. Hopefully that's not the perfected pistol. I'll keep it just in case I don't think it would be. What's my best MP5? This is the top one. Everything else must go. In fact, you know what? Fuck it. The pistol must go as well. Uh, wrenched. Nope, that's getting fucking shelved. Tread that shit out. Into the fucking stash here. More of you in there. I don't think I've got any other... Oh, no, 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 no. no. Um, right. Man, I'm going to get rid of the shotgun ammo for the moment as well. So, shotgun ammo. And I think I'm just... I think perma stash is stuff that I want to keep. I'm just going to keep it at the, quote, the bar keeps. The Sidorovich, the other bar keep. Like, bar boxes. So, otherwise, I'm going to fucking lose track of where I'm keeping shit. So, at the moment, it's at the, the first two bar guys. The bar boxes. Uh, I, I seem like I've got a lot of shit here as well. Like, maybe I could, like... Kind of split them? Split stack, split stack, split stack, split stack, split stack. Nope. One at a time. Oh, that's actually quite convenient. You know what? I'm going to store some medkits here. So I bet they weigh a bit. No, they don't, actually. Not that much. I'll store some vodka here as well. In fact, I'll get the medkits down to... Five. I'll take some bandages out as well. Get them... D I'll keep... I'll keep 15 bandages on me. Oh my god, he's double click. <laughs> oh man. You know, when you're doing something daft and you go like, uh, it's probably the way. And you're doing it again, it's like, well, I don't think it's the way. And you're doing it again, it's like, it can't be the way. You do it again, it's like, this, this is stupid, man. There's got to be another way of doing it. <laughs> I got it. Um, Take bread down to... Uh, 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 take everything down. Just down a little bit. Keep the anti-rads on me. Keep that on me. This is a lot of ammunition, but should be all right. That should be all right. Basically, I've got a nice little stash going off at Sidorovich. Nice little stash there. Um, and yeah, you seem alright there, dude. Weapons all good. Healing and anti-rads and shit all good. Grenades. It's even the morning. Perfect fucking time there. Perfect. Drop a quick save. Drop a fast save. Drop a level save. And then I'll drop a hard save. <laughs> I just can't help myself with so many options. <laughs> fucking HDSF fucking set to. Um, set to end. Yeah, there we go. I've never been so spoiled in saving options. Like, I, I, I literally could not resist there. How many times do you get to save? F like four different ways at the end and if it came up with it, it could have been an auto save as well so I, I just did four manual saves and it could have possibly have auto saved during that and I'd missed it or whatever and shit like that fucking great man why why did they add so many ways to save I'm not complaining you don't have to use all the features if you don't want to but why did they add so many saves that is nuts crazy I mean fuck it let you save all you want you want to go to a menu? I mean, I think the escape save. You see down at the bottom middle here, it says, like, smart save. That's something to do with the mod. That's not in there by default, I don't think, so that's an extra way, but shit. Actually, what, uh, just, just quickly for a second here, what does free play do if I press escape T? Oh. So that was some... Wait. 
J. Oh, so you can teleport. What do you teleport to exactly? Wow! Oh, it's teleporting you to the zone boundary. I First see. Blood. Hey, Rob Martian, thank you very much for the nine months there, dude. It's like, yo, yo, how's it going, dude? How's it going, man? My apologies, fella. I am literally about to sign off. I was just fucking about on the, uh, the menu there. So, if I wanted to go from, like, where I'm on the map here, and I wanted to go to, say, the, the other barkeep, I could do something like that. No, it takes you to the zone boundaries, but no further. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, it takes you to the boundaries of the zone, but it won't take- Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, like a f yeah. Like a fast travel. I won't be using that. Interesting to see. But I, um, I, I, yeah, I won't be using that. Obviously, that's, that's not as intended. But interesting, though. I mean, if I ever got, like, bugged out or stuck or something like that, I could unstick myself by teleporting away. I'd never use it in a normal, um, sense, because obviously that's quite haxy. Because it's, it's not like you travel for free, is it? Like, sometimes you're blocked and you need to pay someone to get through. Sometimes it's night and you're going to run into an anomaly, or you're not going to see some bandits, and you're not going to see them and you're going to get shot. That's... Excuse me. Wow. Damn, did you just slide in that car? The guy's moving in bursts. It, it's making me move in, like, it's making me track him in bursts. <laughs> oh, we parkoured off that fucking lamp, uh, electrical pole. Whee! Oh my god. Man, they don't make games like this anymore, man. I miss games, like, acting like games. So good. Whee! Off he goes. Oh shit, let me back up my car. My armor is great now. That, that suit of armor, that fucking, that, that made such a difference. That new body armor is fucking immense. Then again, these are all debuffing my rupture. It's, it's debuffing impact and rupture by 50%, so you'd think he'd have done extra damage to me, but I don't know, I guess it's good fucking armor. But yeah, like I say, obviously not going to be teleporting around, but hey, if you'd played the game multiple times over, fuck it. Like, it, like it seems to get in the way slightly because you're going to take damage or you're going to see shit or whatever, like, while traversing the fucking zone. So, yeah, won't be using that, but still, if you've played it a load of times, you're like, nah, it's fine. Not a bad little feature, just to speed things up for you a little bit. Playing through it first time, though? Nah. Bad form using something like that, but might come in handy if I get stuck. These fuckers just stacked up here as well. Ooh. I mean, there's no way I've got a 1,000% extra life at the moment. M maybe that's why it wasn't doing much damage to me. Maybe, maybe I do have a 1,000% extra life. <laughs> I don't know. Should not be able to knife a warthog to death, but hey, I'll take it. Good shit, man. Good shit. And cheers again, lads. Thank you very much. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Cheers for watching, and I'll catch you next time. See you, dudes.